you are all going to be completely flabbergasted when I tell you I had thrifted low rise jeans. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So I love fall fashion and I know it only just became August, but my mind is on sweater layering and cozy dark colors. Honestly, it has been for for a while. And so I have been collecting these pieces over the past couple of months to mainly style for fall, but some of them do also work for summer. And so I'm calling this an end of summer pre-fall thrift haul. And I don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, a toot toot. It's a good one. The first couple of pieces I did get off of ThreadUp, which I'm sure isn't surprising because I talk about them nonstop, but this portion is actually sponsored by them. ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store with brands up to 90% off their SMA retail price. And I ended up finding this denim dress on ThreadUp originally by the brand Universal Thread. The SMA retail price was $25 and I got it for $14.99. And I mean, this is my dream denim dress. It fits me so perfectly. And then I paired it with these brown velvet Mary Janes originally by the brand Nature Breeze. The SMA retail price was $25 and I got it off of ThreadUp for $14.99. Also, I finally found a denim purse. I've not shut up about wanting to thrift one so I can add a bunch of pins and customize it and I found it on ThreadUp. Lastly, I picked up this super cute top that has velvet straps and then a velvet bow and just overall a really beautiful silhouette on me. It kind of transitions from summer to fall since it has a fall pattern, but it is a tank top so I can start wearing it now even though it's 90 degrees out. August is actually second hand month and ThreadUp has now made it even easier to shop sustainably by introducing some new features. They first have improved their search tool. So you can use keywords related to material, color, pattern, accents, and category. This next one I'm probably the most excited for and it is their image search. Now you can upload photos of your fashion inspo and they'll find the perfect thread up pieces to match your look. And if that wasn't already super helpful enough, they now have a style chat where you can tell them what you want whether it's a trend, an event, or even a celebrity fit, and they'll show you the options to shop your ideas. ThreadUp has revolutionized the thrifting experience by helping you find exactly what you're looking for secondhand. So definitely check them out with my link below so you can check out these new features for yourself. Now, the next couple pieces I also had gotten off of ThreadUp, but I purchased them with my own money. Outside of working with them, I truly love ThreadUp, and I had found just even more amazing pieces that I need to share with you. Like this cat tapestry bag. Are you kidding me? This is the cutest thing I have literally ever seen. It's a crossbody bag. I'd already shown it on my Instagram, but it deserved to be shown in a video. And I love this thing. I'm not really sure what the brand is in the tag it does say rita's handbag so i don't know if that's an actual brand but this is one of the best things that i own now then i had found this polka dot dress i know a lot of people have been into polka dots i guess polka dots are a trending pattern i feel like polka dots are pretty timeless like they always exist but i do find i'm quite picky with pieces that have polka dots and this dress the silhouette of it just took my breath away and it's originally by the brand rampage and it has a paper tag which i believe anything with a paper tag was made in the 90s i think then they like changed to plastic after that um so it is technically like vintage and this fits me like a freaking glove. It is a beautiful length on me. Technically, you have already seen these shoes. I have been wearing them nonstop in my daily life. And then I've also shown them in like outfit styling videos. They are originally by Delia's. I'm pretty sure they are part of the Delia's Dolls Kill collab. So they aren't the like proper 90s vintage Delia's, but surprisingly, they are made so well, they have a really great weight to them. I've been pretty apprehensive about super thick, like chunky soles ever since I had fallen in my Doc Martin platforms a couple of years ago. And these don't have like the most insane, like 
chunkiness or they aren't, I wouldn't consider them really a platform, but I've still been kind of like scared of it. But just the design of the shoe, it keeps me on the ground. I have not almost fallen, felt like I was gonna fall, anything like that. The insole is so like squishy and comfortable. Again, these have been just my every, I've been choosing these over like my Skechers sneakers because they're just as comfortable as them. The next pair of shoes I got off of ThreadUp. I have already shown in styling videos as well, but they are originally by the brand J Jill Boots. And I believe I actually got them back in April. And the first time I ever wore them was, well, like out and about. I had kind of like shown them in videos, but I hadn't like properly worn them outside yet until I had gone to the Rose Bowl with Carrie. As I was getting out of the car wearing them, I was like, was this a mistake? was it a mistake to wear these for the very first time at the Rose Bowl flea market. They were incredibly comfortable. Obviously they are secondhand, which is like the best thing about buying shoes secondhand is they're usually already broken in and these gave me no issues. My favorite part of these boots is the little tie detail on the ankle. It just gives something interesting to a very like plain, you know, black boot. It's something just a little bit different. So excited to get like more wear out of them this fall and winter. I've styled them during summer and they haven't been like like horrendously hot. You know, sometimes you push through it for a good boot, but the fall outfits, I'm gonna be able to creep with these. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, the last piece I got off of ThreadUp, everything else is from different secondhand stores, is this fringe suede jacket. I've talked about my relationship with fringe where I really was not into it. And then just recently I've been kind of open to it just because back in, you know, 2014 Coachella, that fringe, um, the fast fat, like cheap fringe just really kind of turned me off to it. And it wasn't again until recently that I saw so many vintage suede, well-made jackets with fringe that I was like, oh, okay. And so it's been on my thrift wish list and I ended up finding it on ThreadUp. It's originally by the brand G4000. And even though it's a size medium, the shoulders are quite broad that it actually really helps for layering. Like I'll be able to layer quite a lot under this jacket and not feel like I can't move. It just adds something different than my other leather jackets. Love my leather black jackets, but the fringe, it adds just a different look and vibe to an outfit compared to just like a plain leather jacket. So that is how I'm rationalizing why uh, I needed this. Another thing that has been on my thrift wish list for the past couple of months is a good vintage denim button up. And I did actually first thrift one that was originally by a fast fashion brand. It was 100% cotton, but I'll be honest, I settled because I've been searching for one secondhand for such a long time. I was like, okay, this kind of is exactly like it's kind of almost there um, of what I have been searching for and I just settled which I should have taken my own advice about not buying the thing that's almost exactly what you're wanting and instead just waiting because I did end up finding then the exact vintage denim button up I have been wanting. I actually found this two days after I bought that secondhand fast fashion one. Again, it was fast fashion, but I had actually thrifted it. I found this in an antique mall. I happened to be passing by an antique mall and I was like, let me go in. And then I found this and I was like, gosh darn, this is exactly what I am wanting. It's originally by the brand America Perry Ellis. I'm so excited to be able to, again, style it in fall, but even right now, because it is this like light denim again though it's not like a flimsy yucky denim it's like a vintage soft denim um i feel like i can kind of style it right now i don't know maybe for nighttime i can but oh the styling possibilities for fall you are not ready in my video where i had been styled by personal stylist i had mentioned that i thrifted a brown sweater because one of the stylists had recommended um maybe adding a brown sweater into my wardrobe and i was like oh my gosh i've just thrifted that yesterday and this was the brown sweater this is originally by the brand worthington i was really conflicted about this honestly um i usually am trying to be like if i'm not 100 percent for something i'm gonna leave it at the thrift store but this one i was like i see the potential but i I'm, I'm still not sure how it's gonna implement into my wardrobe and I'm so happy I ended up purchasing it because I think it looks so good with all of my bottoms. In the styling, like 
try on portion. I paired it with a corduroy black pant and the just the textures were so beautiful but even just with a normal black denim or even a light denim even under overalls this brown like rich dark brown it's almost black but it is like a rich brown i'm really loving it's not a three quarter length sleeve but it's a little bit of a shorter sleeve and i thought that was going to look a little awkward because i have found sweaters like this at the thrift store in the past and i've been like oh like the length of the sleeve that may look a little bit weird and it doesn't for southern california fall this is actually probably the perfect sweater for me. This one may be a little bit boring. It's just this kind of like boxy baby tee crop top. I had put a ban on graphic baby tees just cause I have so many, but I did technically thrift this before that ban and i just loved the detailing of the graphic like it says new york city big apple and it's in the shape of an apple like that's so fun it's not just like an i love new york shirt it's something funky and interesting and just the colors i feel are really cute very summer probably not a fall top but i could also layer it for fall if i really wanted to another brown piece i found that brings us back to more pre-fall is this brown velvet dress this is the velvet dress of my dreams it is originally from the brand timing and it also has a paper tag this just feels like such a 90s whimsy goth dream dress i don't know if you'll also be able to see because it is such a deep deep dark brown um i think you can maybe on camera um but it does kind of look black when i was looking at me trying it on it's the perfect length it's not too short it's not too long the velvet actually isn't super thick so i feel like i could get away with styling it maybe in summer as we are like transitioning um into end of summer and like pre-fall this is definitely going to be a perfect piece for that because it keeps to the fall tones but then i can wear it with just some i don't know loafers or something and then when it's actually a little bit chillier i can put it with tights and boots and so it's a really great piece to be able to transition into multiple seasons do you ever thrift something that you're like okay like i really like this this is really cute and then you get home and like wash it and then actually properly try it on at least because my thrift stores don't have dressing rooms so i'm not able to prop like i won't be able to see the full vision of the piece because i'm just trying it on on top of my clothes but you like get home you're able to try it on properly and you're like oh my goodness i am so happy i thrifted this this is the best thing ever that is how i feel about this skirt it was kind of like okay this is cute like i feel like it's gonna go with my clothes um but i wasn't yeah i was upset i I liked it. I don't want to make it seem like I didn't like it. I liked it. But then being able to properly like try it on at home, I was like, oh my God, I hit it out of the park. This is one of the best things I now own. It's originally by the brand Briggs New York and it's this floral white detailing black skirt and it's made with kind of that slinky, that's the only like way I can explain it, like slinky, stretchy fabric, very 90. I feel like I did a really great job of like thrifting things that I think are such a core part of my personal style, which is 90s fashion. I've been getting really into finding on Pinterest like 90s fashion inspo versus more like trendy inspo and looking towards like 90s shows and movies to get inspired by. It is like a midi length and it has a slit in the front and it's just so breezy, so comfy, fits high rise on me. And then it has these little buttons in front and just like, just the cutest little thing i feel like i in like thrift hauls i get very like repetitive where i'm like this is so cute this is I, I love this thing so much but i do i really do love this thing so much this one may be surprising that it has actually been on my thrift wish list for quite a long time specifically a patterned cardigan like this that wasn't from like a fast fashion like this type of pattern i think became quite like micro trendy back in 2020. Not that this pattern was like new or anything, but I think so many fast fashion brands were doing it and not well done. Anytime I had come across it, I felt like it wasn't the look that I was going for. Whereas this one I found at the thrift store and it is exactly what I've been wanting. It's made so well. I don't know when it was originally made, but it's from the brand originally one step up. And to me, it feels vintage, or at least I'm just gonna tell myself that. It's really comfortable. It's not itchy, 
just such a big deal because I have come across pieces like this technically at the thrift store, but then they've been such an itchy fabric and I just like knew I would never wear it. But this, mm -hmm. I know I've kind of been bashing on fast fashion in this video, I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, obviously there's negatives to fast fashion, but buying it secondhand, as long as it's made well and the material is comfortable and I'll wear it, like I have no problem buying it secondhand. And this piece is perfectly that it's originally from Urban Outfitters and it is the backless ribbed top. Another style that I have talked about that I have been just, ho obviously I didn't want anyone to like buy that because it was quite trendy probably like a year ago. I didn't want people to buy it and then just donate it because they didn't like it anymore. That's not what I wanted. But as a thrifter, um, it was really cool that then I was able to get it secondhand, which again is one of the pros of being late to trends is people will end up donating it. So then you can get it secondhand. And this is just such a nice top. The neckline is almost like a boat neck. And I was really scared that because it was backless, it would fall down. Like if I moved my arms a certain way, but no, it completely stays in place. And because it's just black, it goes with everything that I own. And another piece, I think it's going to be great to be able to style in multiple seasons. And I just cannot believe I was able to find the second hand because I have been tempted to potentially like try to buy it new. There was one on like reformation as well. That was like, a hundred dollars maybe even more and then even like lisa says gone it's like i wanted it so bad that i was like maybe maybe but i was i was holding out to be able to find it second hand and i was rewarded for my patience velvet is definitely one of my favorite textures i don't own a lot of it definitely i would love to find more second hand and i already have that brown velvet dress but i also ended up getting another velvet piece this blue pinstripe velvet vest, which I love a good vest. They are one of my favorite categories of fashion because truly like any outfit, it's like, let me add a vest. And it just like, oh, it instantly does something. It's originally by the brand Liz Sport and I felt it and I was like, yeah, well, I'm gonna need to buy that. I thrifted a, another paper tag piece. It is originally by the brand Wrapper and it's this very lightweight material. It is 100% polyester, but it's that like vintage polyester. I think I mentioned it in my last video or like two videos ago where there's like the bathing suit polyester feeling and then more of the like vintage, almost chiffon feeling polyester. And this has more of that, that like vintage lightweight polyester where even if you wear it out in the heat, it's not going to overheat. It's a synthetic fabric, but it doesn't overheat you. Like I would say current polyester does, if that makes any sense. It's not too long, it's not too short. It's just the perfect length. And I loved the pattern. It has just these really nice like muted blue tones. I'm pretty sure in one of my clothing I regret buying or trends I regret buying, I put corset tops and another, style that I am kind of conflicted by because I love the look of corsets, but, or I guess they were a little bit more like bustiers became, you know, really boomed in popularity in the 2020s or in, tw in the 2020s, in 2020, and then kind of grew from there. And we've seen so many different styles and I have tried so many different styles and I found a lot of times that they weren't very wearable. And a lot of times it was just the construction of like, just how annoying they can be to, like lace up. I do have a really beautiful corset that's like handmade and I love that thing, but I don't wear it as often still because it is just a little bit more work to put it on. But even the Boussier style corsets, again, I really loved, but I just found that they then looked a little bit too much like I'm going to the club type of feel where I, I felt like they weren't as versatile. I found this one at the thrift store and you could also argue it's a little bit like going to the club type of bustier looking corset top. But I actually see it more in a whimsy goth way. It just fits me like a glove. And I find the reason why I ended up really not wearing any like bustiers I would thrift was because the cups, like where they like have put for your boobs to go, my boobs did not go there or they didn't fill it out enough. And so it just looked very odd and this, I don't know if it's just the way that they constructed it in the back. It has an actual like clip. And then there's also a zipper that it's way easier to customize the fit. And the outfit that I put together in the try on portion, I just absolutely loved. I was like, yep, this is one of my favorite tops. 
ever. Again, I think it does give a little bit more like a date night look, but I think I could still style it casually, possibly. Maybe. I have been showing a lot of darker tone pieces, which has been kind of my goal and what has been on my thrift wish list the past couple of months, but I did find this really beautiful pastel yellow kind of cami top originally from Victoria's Secrets at the thrift store. And I don't know why I have said that I don't like butter yellow. Honestly, I think the reality is I just hadn't found anything that was the color butter yellow that I liked. I have a butter yellow sweater that I adore, but I hadn't found anything in a while that was butter yellow that I actually liked. So that's why I was kind of like turned off. I think it is a really beautiful color and especially in this style of top, like look at the little lace and all that. It just has a really beautiful silhouette and makes me feel very happy probably because of the color. You are all going to be completely flabbergasted when I tell you I had thrifted low rise jeans. I know, I know, I have been so against low rise jeans. And I think in now thrifting low rise jeans, I am even more cemented that high rise jeans are like my favorite rise. That's what I very much gravitate towards. I think that's what personally looks how I would want it to look on my body type. But I have had in the back of my mind that there are certain tops that because of the graphic or the style of top, they don't look as good tucked in. And I haven't had any bottoms that would pair with those well because I would have to tuck it in or if I did like untuck it with a pair of high rise jeans, it always looked a little bit odd. I was able to try these on before buying them. I'd gone to a secondhand store that had dressing rooms. And so I was able to sit with it and be like, okay, like, is this going to be a purchase I regret? And I did really like the fit. I, I think it would be really good for even days where I just don't need to be wearing high rise. You know, like I'm wearing a long t-shirt and like, do I really need to wear my high rise jeans? I mean, I love my jeans and to me, I will lounge around in my high rise jeans. But sometimes, um, you know, if I have a tummy ache or something like that, I did style them in the trial portion with a little bit of a cropped top just so you could like see the rise of them. I would almost argue these kind of are between a low rise and a mid rise. They are from a modern day brand. So they aren't like vintage low rise jeans, which I feel is very different than low rise jeans that are popular right now. The vintage Y2K low rise jeans are like, it's, I mean, that zipper is like that. Whereas this one, it's still like, there's still a good amount, but for me and what I usually go for, this zipper's like, you know, very long. I think the thing with modern day low rise is they caught on to the fact that vintage low rise, your underwear would be out or like your butt crack would be out. So at least for this one, and maybe it's just my body, the back is longer than the front. So even if I'm like squat, not squatting down, but like picking something up, like you don't see my butt. I ended up actually styling them with this next piece in the try on portion to really show what I was kind of envisioning as having a low rise, like the pros of having a low rise pant is this top with these cute little, little babies on it. I love the kind of deep navy accents on this. And it kind of is like a longer top to wear in the try on, you see it styled with the low rise jeans. And like that is exactly what I was thinking of, of the tops that I have that are a little bit longer. And it's like, I could tuck it in, but also I like the silhouette of it not tucked in sometimes. It just gives me variety. I thrifted this dress a couple of weeks ago and I'm still drooling over it. It is this white, like literally the perfect frolicking through a field of flowers, puffy sleeve dress of my dreams. I would have worn it when John and I got married at the courthouse in 2020 because it's like the perfect one I have been looking for. It is originally from Forever 21 and I'm pretty sure it's like a polyester cotton mix, but actually the material feels really nice. It didn't have any stains on it, which I feel is so surprising for like a full white dress specifically at the thrift store. There were a couple of like, black marks on the bottom, but I was able to get those out. It does also have 
a slip or what is this called? I can't remember. I've been filming for like four hours. This video has taken me four hours to film. So my mind's kind of going a little bit, um, but it does a lining. That's what it has. It has a lining, which I feel like is so surprising. So many brands kind of skip out on, especially a white dress adding a lining, but it definitely needed a lining. And so even though it's still white and like probably will still wear like nude underwear, it's not like extremely see-through, which I just feel like makes it even better that it already has that built in. Even though I have included pieces that were like on my thrift wish list and I've been searching for for such a long time, this piece is the one I've been searching for for the longest and is such a holy grail that I found secondhand this year. And it is these high rise. So again, you know, I got, I got the low rise, I'm trying it out, but like, I'm truly a high rise girly and I've been searching for a high rise loose lawn Bermuda style shorts. And I finally, I finally found them. With Bermuda style, I find that they can be too tight on the leg and I really wanted like a loose leg and I did end up getting them secondhand online. So I was stressing out about the measurements because I have gotten denim shorts online that I thought I had verified the measurements being perfect, but they ended up not fitting me. And so I kind of like stopped um, searching for any secondhand online because I was scared that they would end up not actually fitting me but I decided to take a leap of faith and I'm so happy I did because these are absolutely perfect. I have been wearing them nonstop. They're originally from the original Arizona jean company and also the feeling of the denim is just, oh, it's so dreamy. Alrighty, thank you all so much for watching. I'm sure this video was quite, I mean, all my videos are quite long. I just yap. I love to yap. I'm not apologizing for how long my videos are because I want to yap. And if there's one thing I'm going to yap a lot about, it's going to be secondhand clothes. And honestly, I feel like I just hit the jackpot. I'm obsessed with all these pieces. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably have somewhat similar style to me. So I'm sure you also really enjoyed the pieces too. Again, thank you so much ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Check out their new features with my link right down in the description. And if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandjane83. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye!